What are you desperate to change on your bike? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. So just got back from a ride on the Heroic Harley. And as I was riding around, I thought, Ooh, what would I change on the bike? What am I desperate to change on the bike? So I had a little look around and there's always those things that really niggle you, right? Like scratches, I've got scratches all over the place. And I think, oh, I wish I didn't have the scratches. Like on the fairing, I wish I didn't have it on there, on the tank, on the, the rear mudguard, rear fender. I wish I didn't have those scratches. But I think if I just do one scratch, then I really have to address all of them. So that's not something that I'm planning on addressing right now. So what else is there? Well, I'll tell you what, it's the handlebars. The handlebars for me, they're perfect height. They're the perfect riding position, but they're just a bit granddad, if you know what I mean. You know, they're the stock bars. Let me show you. So I like this dip here, where it sinks beneath the, the fairing. And so I can hide any sort of accessories on there, but I just don't like this kind of flow. I'd much prefer it to be up a straight bar, some drag bars up here, something like that. So if there's anything I really wanted to change on the bike, it'll be the handlebars. Now I've already put on a different exhaust, so I've done a stage one on it as well. So I'm not really that fussed about performance and the overall looks I'm kind of happy with, that isn't really the issue. But it's just those niggly things. And I was just wondering, what is one thing on your bike that you're desperate to change? And I wouldn't say I'm desperate to change, but if there's one thing that niggles me, it's the handlebars. And whilst I love the riding position or the, the handlebar position, the hand position, it's just the look of them that I don't like. The other things, the kind of scratches and everything, yeah, they're niggles, but I'm not desperate for them, if you know what I mean. Now, the exhaust. I wasn't really that concerned about changing the sound of it too much. I didn't want a drastic change. So I went for something that was a, a kind of mild rumble, if you like. But I got an interesting uh, couple of emails uh, this week, actually, or, or last week. And uh, basically, people are asking me about different exhausts and, you know, about tone and the sound and everything. And I kind of gave an answer, but I suppose it wasn't really a good answer. So I thought I'd give it a go on here. One of the problems of exhaust is that it's a question of personal choice, personal preference, isn't it? And you've got two things to consider. Well, I suppose three things really to consider on exhaust. One, which I don't think is a major thing, is any performance gain that you're gonna get out of it. For the most part, it's gonna be marginal, I would say. So, you know, it's whether you really believe you're gonna get a big performance jump. That's up to you whether you think uh, you're gonna get that or not. But I think the two major things are the looks, whether you like the look of the exhaust system, and the sound. And the look is purely subjective, that's entirely up to you. But the sound is an interesting one. And I'll tell you why. You see, the sound is determined not only by the exhaust system itself, and how short or how long it is, but also your position, your hearing position. And each person's hearing is going to be different, of course. So you're going to interpret sound from a different point of view. So this is why it's a purely subjective thing. It's an individual thing. So the sound of the exhaust, if you're just stood by your bike and you turn on the engine and listen to that rumble of that exhaust, then that's you stood by the side of the bike. It's not on the bike. So when you're on the bike, it really depends where that sound is coming from the most. If you've got shorts on it, then the sound is gonna come from here and it's gonna be up in your face a little bit. So therefore, you're gonna get a harsher sound. If you've got a long exhaust, like I said, like mine, then that exhaust tone is gonna be a little bit deeper, but it's gonna be behind you a little bit. So it's gonna be a bit softer. But if you're stood next to the bike or you're looking at it from you know some distance let's say that sound is going to be different again so the sound as you hear it really depends where you are and obviously what kind of exhaust it is so if you want a deep sound the chances are you're going to have to have some kind of exhaust that is a little bit longer that throws that sound away from you as well if you want something that's louder and more in your face, let's say, more aggressive, more obnoxious, then some shorts are probably gonna be the ones for you. But say, it really depends. 
if I had my choice, I'd always go for an exhaust that's a two into one, that's gonna give you the best performance. That's something that's got a low tone and something that's a little bit behind me as well. Because if I'm doing longer distances, I really don't want that harsh exhaust for the whole ride. Now, if I'm doing just only bar hops, for example, then yeah, maybe some short shots would be absolutely fine. Um, but longer rides, person, my preference, have the sound behind me a little bit, let others around me hear the exhaust tone, but I'm not hearing it so harshly. Anyway, let us know your thoughts on that. Let us know your thoughts on anything on your bike that you're going to change. And also about exhausts and your preferences and which is the best choice for you. Right, and I'll catch you on another video coming very soon. Ta-da.